Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're excited. Today we'll make our first contract. Of course, we have already done some contracts, but today will be the first one that will have like a real application value. Today we will create a contract where we have a group of four people working together on the same project. And the, when the project is done, some people will transfer value to the, this contract that they will create. And once the money is there, the employees will be, the four guys will be able to to take the money equally. No one will be able to cheat another one and have more value. So we'll start with a paycheck contract, Pragma Solidity and all this stuff. And let's go. Today I will be copying and pasting a little more so it's not that long video. Paycheck. Okay, first of all, we need an array, an array of addresses because we need to have all the addresses of the people that are the employees. So we can see here we have an address an array of address of the employees. I take these four address, one, two, three, four, and this one will be the one that is will be paying. I just copy this one. So that is. Then let me delete one of these. Then we'll have a UI int and an sign integer called total received and it will be equal to zero. Because we will be checking how much money does this contract have. We also create a function, the constructor or initializer, initializer called paycheck. I misspell it, paycheck. And it will be payable because when you create it, you will be able to send money to this contract. We will also have a default function that will also be payable. This happens if anyone sends money because of no reason, this function will be able to receive that money. Then we'll have a a very important function that will update the total of the money and this function will only be internal because we don't want anyone to execute it and this function will just update the total received with the amount of money sent but the message dot sender but in this case of course we want to see the the value he has sent so we call the message dot value and we will call this function when everyone's whenever someone sends money that's here and when we create the contract here and that's it then we will create a modifier I will copy the modifier and explain it because it's a little long this modifier will call, be called can withdraw and will check the employees and when someone calls, calls a function that has this modifier will check if the employees exist because so we create a bool contains that is false we create a simple for loop for e equals zero e less than employees dot length e plus plus if the employees the employee exist yes it says equals to the message dot center then contains is true we will require contains is true so if someone calls this and is not in this array contains will be false and then we will skew the rest of the function and the most important function will be this one i will create it right here because i don't want my camera to to screw you <laughs> so we will have a function with draw and it will be can we draw we will add this modifier of course then we will have a ui int that will be a amount allocated this amount allocated will be equals to a uh, total receipt divided by the amount of employees that are there em employees dot length uh, tan -tan, employees dot length and that's it then we will have a uh, an amount withdraw and for that we need to have something like a dictionary and this is a mapping is very similar to a dictionary where you have an address that maps to the value of one UI int and we will call this the withdrawn amount that's the amount of money that ha the people has withdrawn then I will copy this to make it a little faster something like that so we have our amount allocated total received the employees and the amount withdrawn that will be the withdrawn amount of the message dot sender then we will have the amount and we will update the value so we have a new variable the amount it's an unsigned integer and it will be the amounts allocated minus the amounts withdrawn the money that have been already been withdrawn by someone then we will update the dictionary the withdrawn amount of amounts of the message dot sender with the value of the amount withdrawn plus the amount 
then we will create a simple if function. This if function will check if it has some money left, and if it did this, then it will send the money to the message.sender.transfer. That's a function to send the money to the people that is asking for this function, and it will send the amount of money withdrawn. Remember that you need to be here in this array of employees in order to access the withdraw function, otherwise it will not work. So we are done. We will send a hundred of value, create, we will go here and we'll press withdraw, nothing happens. But if these four other, if you can see, they finish with, they have a lot of ether, ether but it finished with 29, 29, 29, 29. So we will go to this one, withdraw, and he was successfully withdrawn. You can see that it has another amount. Now this one, withdraw, this one, withdraw. You can see 12, 12, 12, 29, withdraw. And that's it. Now we have first created our first smart contract with real life application. Hope you enjoy it. We will develop a much more professional contracts in the future. But this is to, to have a very basic understanding with all the knowledge we have already been solidifying about Solidity. So see you next video. Bye.